Hey guys, what is up? And of course, as always, welcome back to the rental review. And uh, well, this is the only use of route this week, and it consists of all Pokemon I had used before. And the success rate of this team is, I say, 50 50. Uh, I had two wins, two losses, and one DC. Um, it was all I really had this time to record, and one of the wins I had was um, a bit on the one side. And basically, I bring in Sides of Sword Stance, and that's it. And uh, they were not ready <laughs> for Scyther. Now, quick rundown really. I have two possible leads, and no, as you see, no Stealth Frogs or Defogs. So this is uh, offensive as it gets, and this is blindly attacking versus everything you face off against. Uh, Emolga is usually the best lead, mainly because uh, of its defensive typing. While it isn't defensive in itself, it is quite annoying for most matchup. Thunderbolt, Energy Ball, Air Slash Ball Switch covers a lot. Wigglytuff, which is pr pretty much the reason you can't use it in Dynamax, is because of counter. Hyper Beam, Dazzle Beam, Fire Blast, and counter are nice. Um, that said, um, I actually realized a bit too late that this is Frisk and not competitive, and uh, it needs to be competitive, so I'll see if I can revisit this team uh, down the line. Uh, Crocodile with Moxie, used it before. Phenomenal if you get this thing right. Skill Shot is. Um, I'm really coming to its own with this guy. Uh, then we have Hitmontop, which, um, for all the right reasons, it is great. Uh, you get this guy right. Uh, triple Axel and Triple Kick are phenomenal. Close Combat is, of course, a stronger move, but Triple Axel is just so nice to use. And Bullet Punch is great. And with Expert Building Technician, it hurts. Uh, Scyther needs no introduction. Dual Wing Beat is, uh, is great. And so few switch-ins, like basically the oral steel types that can wall this set, and even with that in mind, if you have soul sense behind you with a dual wing beat, it still hurts. And uh, I like it. Scissor is or Scyther is so underrated this generation. And um, some are sleeping on this guy. Like so people know about the Scissor and prefer that, but Scyther is very, very likely to beat a Scissor because of this ridiculous damage output. Uh, then we have Luna Tone, which, um, I mean, it's the power herb variant, um, very, very straightforward, this is the same set that Fufu was using, and um, I like it, I like it fine, it's better in Dynamax form, so um, keep that in mind, but Meteor Beam absolutely punish any switching, and um, power herb will really, really help you with that. But overall, I'll say I like this team fine, um, it's not a perfect team, it was never supposed to be, um, but yeah, I mean, next week you're going to have something more more enticing and more interesting. It's just this week has been very rough for me. So I really hope anybody who's been joining a look at this, that you get good use of the team and try to use it in, um, well, the 6 versus 6 meta. Because it, it's weak enough to not survive those uh, 20 minutes and it's also strong enough to break through so you don't have to waste all those 20 minutes. So with that said, as always, we were watching and uh, look at the, this battle that followed. <laughs> Take care, guys. All right, what is up, you guys? As always, welcome back to another OU battle, which is truly the Scarender. And today I'm actually using a team that is a plethora of like old Pokemon I already use, but I wanted to reuse them. And quite frankly, I haven't had the time to actually sit down and actually create a new team. So I figured let's get out there and uh, get beaten by Ubers. And here we are. Huh. Wow, yeah, this is this is way above my pay grade. Um, I actually don't see... Could Darmanitan beat Majin Buu? That's a question. Like, usually they go Scoff. Scoff U-turns, right? I think every lead he has is beaten by Wigglytuff, if I'm very lucky. Um, minus maybe the... Toxtricity, which I don't necessarily switch into all that well. I have Crocodile, I do believe I can punish him and force him out. But Boomer stinks, <laughs> and it's not a switch in I want to go for. So with that said, Mikey, good luck, have fun, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So lead is... Ah, this could not get worse. Alright, focus. I am a Soulfist. He is quick claw, so we have all the jazz going on here. Um, quick claw, that's new. Um, 
There is no way, like, Sludge Wave is, in my head is the one that makes sense, or Volt Switch. Uh, but I think Sludge Wave is the one that is the easiest to play. Boom Burst. I think we'll take that one too. <sighs> I would be lying to do that reliably, however. Um, I'm gonna go for Meteor Beam just to get as much damage in there. Hope I can survive a Spark or Overdrive. Not sure. Ooh. Bench that one. <laughs> okay, and, and it's all about connecting, of course. I think Earth Power would have made more sense now that, now that we are here. Connected? Yes. I'm not sure it KOs, but at least we got a huge... Oh, yeah, cool. All right, so Wigglytuff is now very scary. <laughs> but we're going to have force to deal with everything else that, of course punish us naturally and um, I could have rock polished not think about it but as it's as the other really boom oh look look at that guy um so you turn this is easy to play and uh, we can just go over an earth power just sacking I mean earth oh buddy oh buddy I really hope you aren't scarfed because um, that that's not it Okay. Jokes on me. It's Zen mode. Oh, and he. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs>